Okay, today we're demonstrating the Panovo L336i secondary injection test set. The Panovo L336i secondary injection relay test set has four voltage outputs which can output a voltage of up to 150 volts. It has six current outputs that can output a current up to 15 amps each. It has eight binary inputs that are used for detecting the relay closures and other switch closures for timing and four binary outputs that can be used. Today we're going to be doing the demonstration with the GE489 multifunction generator relay and the first thing we need to do is uh, obviously power up the relay which I've already done and then we need to connect the terminals of the relay to the output of the Bonovo L336i. Now, depending on the tests we do, we either connect up voltage to the relay or current to the relay. And the first test we're going to do is a simple overcurrent test. So I'll just connect the current terminals to the current output of the Bonovo L336i. We also need to connect the contact, the binary output of the relay to the binary input of the Bonovo L336i. The Bonovo L336i is controlled by the Bonovo power test software on a remote laptop and in order to do that we also need to connect the Ethernet connection. The first test we're going to do is a simple overcurrent test and for that we're going to use the quick test module. For a simple overcurrent test the first thing we do is set the Panovo output to a pre-fault condition. In this case we'll select 1 amp. We set that value for all three phases and we start the test. We then lock the output of the Panovo and we set the output to a fault condition. In this case I'll set it to 12 amps and set that value for all three phases and then unlock the unlock the output and the timer will start. The time that it took to trip is then recorded simply in the timer and as you can see it took 2.02 seconds for the relay to trip. Using the Panovo software is as simple, simple as that and it can be used for in the same, in the same way for voltage, frequency, current, Here's a calibration template that I prepared earlier for the GE489. Okay. The relay we're testing is a multifunction device and will trip on many, many parameters some of those being overcurrent, some of those being phase differential, under voltage, over voltage, volts hertz, under frequency, over frequency, loss of excitation, reactive power and the Panovo software and L336i can handle all of those tests. The purpose of this demonstration I'm going to simply run a inverse time current test and show you the results. The Panovo L336i will output values from two to seven times the nominal current of the relay and and test for the trip time of each of those values. To, sit, to do this test we simply have to start 
press the start button. The first thing that comes up is a display to tell you how to set the relay and how to connect the wiring for that test. And we just simply press OK. The test then starts and continues automatically. A pass is represented by a plus sign next to the item and a far would be shown as a negative sign. Once that module is completed, the program moves onto the next module and will show the setup conditions for the relay and the wiring conditions for that next module. And the tests simply continue one after another. Once the test template is completed and all the modules have completed in the test template or even if they're partly completed and the test has stopped, a report is automatically generated. The report contains the object information that is entered in at the beginning of the test. It contains all the settings of the relay and the settings of the software. It then test has all the results individually tabulated and also contains the graphs that are created. The report also contains the test template settings and a report can be given to another user and that test template can be then rerun exactly as the original was.